Hi, my name is Enko Supi and I'm going to read you a story that is called The Wizard of Oz. Let me begin. The Wizard of Oz, illustrated by Robert McPhillips. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Dorothy. Dorothy lived on a farm in Kansas, America. She lived with her aunt, her uncle, and her little dog Toto. One day, Dorothy's aunt and uncle were out working on the farm. Dorothy was in the farmhouse playing with Toto. Suddenly, a, whirl a whirlwind came and carried the farmhouse away. Dorothy was very frightened. Where are we going to land? She said to her dog, to her little dog, sorry. They came down in a land full of flowers. Suddenly, a beautiful lady appeared. Where am I? said Dorothy. You are in the land of Oz, said the lady. I am very pleased to see you. I'm the good witch. She thanked Dorothy for killing the wicked witch. What wicked witch? said Dorothy. Look under your farmhouse, said the good witch. Dorothy looked under the farmhouse. There, there she saw a witch. On the, feet, witch, on the witch's feet, there were two magic shoes. Dorothy put on the shoes. I want to go back home, said Dorothy. How do I get there? You must go to see... The Wizard of Oz, said the good witch. He lived in he lives in the Emerald City along the yellow brick road. He can help you. Can you come with me? said Dotty. No, said the good good witch, but I will be there when you need me. So Dotty and Toto followed the yellow brick road. Soon they saw a scarecrow. Where are you going? asked the scarecrow. We're going to the Emerald City to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dotty. I'll come with you, said the Scarecrow. My head is full of straws. I want to ask the Wizard for some brain so that I can think. So Dotty and so Dotty, Toto and the Scarecrow followed the yellow brick road. They passed a man of tin. Are you going to see the Wizard of Oz, asked the tin man. Yes, said Dorothy. Can I come with you? said the tin man. I want to ask the wizard for a heart so that I can love. So they all walked along the yellow brick road. <laughs> Suddenly an angry lion appeared. Where are you all going? asked the lion. We are going to the Emerald City to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Can I come too? said the lion. I want to ask him for some courage. It's no good being a lion without courage. Dorothy was happy with her new friends. They all followed followed the yellow brick road together. Soon Dorothy, Toto, the scarecrow, and the tin man and the lion came to the Emerald City. Everything in the city was made of emeralds. A little man appeared. We want to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Can you take us to him? Follow me, said the little man. And he took them uh, to a beautiful emerald room. There they saw, there they saw the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy and her friends were frightened. Wizard, can you help us? asked Dorothy. What do you want me to do? said the witch wizard. I'd like a brain, said the crickle. I'd like a heart, said the tin man. And I'd like to... I, and I'd like some courage, said the lion. And what about you? The wizard asked Dotty. What do you want? I just want to go home to Kansas, said Dotty. I will help you, said the wizard. But first you must help me. Go and kill the last wicked witch in the land of Oz. Dotty and her friends were not very pleased. They didn't know how to kill the last wicked witch. Dotty thought all the Kerko, the tin man, and the lion went to find the wicked witch's castle. Suddenly, the witch's flying monkeys came. They carried Dorothy, her friends, and Toto back to the witch's castle. The wicked w witch wanted Dorothy's magic shoes. If I have the magic shoes, then I can be the wickedest 
We could just reach the land of Oz had ever seen, she said. But Dorothy wouldn't give her the magic shoes. So the witch made Dorothy walk in her castle. One day, the witch said, If you don't give me your magic shoes, I will kill your little dog. Dorothy was very angry. She took a bucket of water and threw it all over the witch. You wicked girl! Your water is killing me, said the wicked witch, and she disappeared. So Dorothy and her friends went back to see the Wizard of Oz. Now, we have helped you, said Dorothy. Please, will you help us? So the Wizard of Oz gave the Scarecrow some brain. And the, the Tin Man a heart, and the Lion some courage. Now I can think, said the Scarecrow. Now I can love, said the Tin Man. Now I will be brave, Lion, said the Lion. But... What about Dorothy? said Scarecrow. I can't help her, said the wizard. I don't know how to send her home. Suddenly the good witch appeared. Dorothy, said the good witch, you must ask your shoes to take you home. Shoes, please take me home, said Dorothy. Suddenly she was back in her farmhouse with her aunt and uncle. And Dorothy and Toto lived happily ever after. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to tell you how the book looks like. It's like this. The book name is Read It Yourself, Level 4, The Wizard of Oz. This part was a bit scratched because my... I accidentally scratched it. So this is the lion. And this is Toto. This is the girl. And this is the scarecrow. This is the Tin Man. Now let me show you the picture of the Wicked Witch. There's the Good Witch also. This is the picture of the Good Witch. This, this pretty woman is the Good Witch. And this is the Wicked Witch lying under the shelf. And this is the scarecrow. This is the tin man. And this is the lion. This is the word Oz. As you can see, it has a word Oz. Oz. Well, it's a word of Oz, that's why. This is the small man that took to Emerald Castle. And this is the Wizard of Oz. This is the monkey, the flying monkeys. And this is the most special person, the evil, evil witch. And that's the only thing I can tell you. And this is how she looks like when she, when she, and when she splash the water to the witch and the end was this some courage a heart and all the stuff and this is her magic shoes that take her back home the end please enjoy my stories and please enjoy my story and if you think my speech is quite good please Subscribe or click the like button. Thank you. And remember, if you think that my sound is a bit bad, it's because I got a sore throat today. And I'm a bit having a fever. Thank you. Bye-bye.